Remax of Boulder video podcast. Dwayne Duggan here, and today we have Jay Kalinsky, one of the broker owners here at Remax of Boulder. Thanks for being here, Jay. Appreciate you uh, helping for us me, out Dwayne. here. Absolutely. Jay, one of the things that we've seen in Boulder, Colorado, is inventory is so incredibly tight, and it's become more expensive because just the basic supply and demand. So one of the things that we've seen buyers do more often than not nowadays is make the, the trip over to Longmont. So why are buyers doing that right now? Uh, thanks, Dwayne. There, there's a few reasons for that, actually. Um, one, of course, is proximity to Boulder. There's um, you know, 60,000 people commute into Boulder, uh, in and out of Boulder every day, and Longmont is just right up the street. Uh, you know, it's an, now an easier commute than it used to be. Um, and in terms of what you get out there, uh, you can actually get more more house for the money. Longmont's the only city in in the county that had a, an average single home price last year under three hundred fifty thousand. So if if that's kind of the amount you have to bring to the table, um, then Longmont is an excellent place for you. So we're saying that Longmont's definitely more affordable than folks in Boulder. It is. It's, um, it, it's affordable and it also benefits from being close to Boulder because um, Fannie Mae, when they set the um, conventional loan limits, um, Boulder County is actually higher. I think we're like almost 475000 So um, if you take that into Longmont, you can get into the average house, whereas Boulder you know, we're, we're nudging up against a million dollars for right. the average Can't get house. an FHA loan for a million dollar house unless you got a big down payment. Exactly. Then there's not much reason to go FHA. So, so that's true though. Long run, you can still get an FHA loan to buy the Well, FHA house or house just uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie right. Mac conventional loan. Right. Yeah. Right. And be conforming loans. Right. right, exactly. So definitely more affordable. And again, Boulder inventory is so tight right now. What's the availability like in Long Run? So it's, there's actually more homes available in Longmont as well. Uh, so last year, I think Longmont sold over 1,200 homes, which was probably 500 more than, than you saw get sold in Boulder. Uh, in addition to that, Longmont is actually one of the last places in the county that's got some vacant, developable lots that the uh, people are building homes on. So uh, you've got kind of the existing inventory that uh, is coming up for resale, but you also have the new homes uh, that are coming up, especially there's a pocket kind of in West Longmont, but even more so as you get out east. So sort of, sort of northeast where you see a lot of the new construction. Exactly. Right. Um, so it is more affordable. There's more availability. That said, uh, people who are looking to buy out there have to be ready to, um, you know, put in a bid that's above asking because uh, just anecdotally from myself and the realtors in our office, we've been seeing uh, homes that are priced well, uh, that have some desirability will be going for well over asking. So um, just as a mindset, buyers, keep in mind, you need to think of that as the starting point <laughs> and not the point you're going to be walking into the home at. Right. Now, one thing that I've noticed in Longmont is that it, the prices out there have kind of stayed fairly level for a lot of years. Uh, appreciation seems to be happening in Longmont, so that's a good sign that Longmont market's getting a lot stronger. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think if you had bought a home in 2006, six, seven, something like that, it, it would have taken till 2012, 2013 before you were even breaking even again. Um, but this last year, I think Longmont appreciated at like 13%. Um, it's definitely picking up now, and I think that is attributable to, you know, there are homes out there to buy. Uh, Longmont has actually got a, a good functional government that uh, keeps utility prices low. They're bringing in NextLight, which is um, actually faster than Google Fiber, they say. Right, you I get heard a, about that, it's pretty amazing. Absolutely, yeah. you get a gig up, up and down load uh, for both residences and commercial properties, so it's, uh, it's becoming a more attractive place to buy th than it ever has been. Wow, that's fantastic. So, Jay, what's the bottom line about Longmont? Well, the bottom line about Longmont is if you want to live in Boulder Valley, uh, Longmont is a great alternative, especially if you don't have a million dollars to put <laughs> on the house. Um, but that said, um, if you're looking to buy there, you need to, to know it's a competitive environment and you're, you're going to probably be paying more than what the listing price says. So it is more available, starting to appreciate, but um, are buyers finding it's very competitive, competitive there too with multiple offers on houses as they come up? Absolutely. It's um, like, like I was saying, we're seeing anywhere from like five to 15 offers uh, for a house in the 285 to 350 price range. Um, so just be 
expecting you're going to have a lot of competition because a lot of people are in your shoes. They want to live close to Boulder. They want to live uh, in Boulder County. Uh, and this is one of the, the best last places to be able to do that. Right. Dave, thanks for being here, buddy. Right, Dwayne, my pleasure. Thank you. Remax Boulder Video Podcast, signing off.